It's a lazy afternoon by the beach. A young woman is swimming playfully in the bay, beckoning her lover, her beau, to come join her. She seems to be having the time of her life, almost frolicking in the serene waters. Suddenly, the music builds. The suspense grows. Suddenly, a massive shark appears, capturing the lady in its jaws and dragging her down to the deepest depths of the ocean, never to be seen again. Such is the start of the classic movie that cemented the image of sharks as terrifying beasts in the eyes of humanity, Jaws. The beast featured in Jaws terrified audiences all over the world with its ferocious nature and massive size. However, if any of those moviegoers had been present a few million years prior, they would have seen a watery beast that makes the great white in Jaws look like a mewing kitten. The Megalodon Shark This massive shark existed during the Cenozoic era and was the apex predator of its time. The Megalodon Shark was a truly enormous creature, with adults reaching an average length of 18 meters. That's roughly as long as one and a half school buses. Moreover, the creatures would typically possess an astonishing 276 teeth, with each tooth reaching an average length of 180 millimeters. Moreover, megalodon shark families were absolute terrors for every creature underneath the sea, as the size of the prey they require would change over the course of their life cycle. Younger megalodon sharks would typically eat entire scores of small to middling-sized fish, while adults would almost exclusively prey upon large whales. Furthermore, megalodon were considered cosmopolitans, a term here which means predators that ruled as kings over the entirety of the ocean. Despite their mobility, however, the megalodon sharks preferred living in more temperate waters as they were quite weak to cold temperatures. These terrifying beasts were also said to be quite cunning, making short work of even the most resourceful of prey. Now, one may wonder, what exactly happened to the megalodon sharks? What could have possibly driven such awesome creatures to extinction? Well, according to some theorists, the fault may lie with the sharks themselves. Firstly, it should come as no surprise that megalodon sharks had voracious appetites. It's said that these appetites may have been directly responsible for their downfall, as their continuous gluttony caused other fish to evolve to become smaller and faster, depriving them of an important food source. It's theorized that this was followed by a mass migration of whales. Supposedly, the global cooling that took place at the end of the Cenozoic era led the whales to migrate to the Arctic regions. This naturally left the megalodon sharks without a food source, causing their species to disappear from the Earth. At least, that's the way it seemed. Recently, some have begun supporting the idea that the megalodon shark may not, in fact, be gone forever. Reports from all across the ocean have begun funneling in about sighting of some new type of shark. Sailors claim that these sharks are far larger than any creature has any right to be. They say that these are sharks that could sink ships all on their own. These reports have led some to support a new idea concerning the megalodon shark. These people say that the fearsome beasts may not have actually died but instead evolved to live in the darkest depths of the ocean. They say that the megalodon shark has lived near the bottom of the ocean for millennia and is only now surfacing for some unknown reason. However, there are some problems with that theory. According to the information we now have, the decline of the megalodon shark was a relatively quick event. This means that it would be phenomenally difficult for the species to evolve in any significant way. Moreover, there is the problem of temperature. One of the reasons for the megalodon shark's eventual extinction was the migration of the whales to the Arctic, the one area of the ocean where the sharks could not follow. 
Unfortunately, the deeper seas of the ocean are similarly cold. This means that it would be impossible for the megalodon shark to penetrate that far into the ocean. That does not mean, however, that these reports should be discounted. The ocean depths are vast and largely unexplored, after all. It is entirely possible that there is some type of enormous shark deep within the ocean. It seems, however, that this must be some entirely new creature, rather than being the megalodon shark returned. One thing is for sure, there's no telling what may lie at the bottom of the ocean. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share so we can keep these videos coming.